Welcome back to Mente, Kentucky. It's not just graffiti, it's a huge work of art. Local artist Danny Green got her start tagging trains and walls, trying her best not to get caught, beautifying blank canvases. Her love of art stems from her mother and has taken that love to a new level. She's here on midday for a live art demonstration. Honey, welcome Danny yes, Green. Yes, thank are you for you? being here. Yeah, man. This is amazing. You don't yeah. even have an easel with you. No. You just no. hold it and paint? Pretty much. Uh, I kind of stay straight. Um, you know, we don't, uh, graffiti artists really don't have a lot of resources. So, um, you know, we use what we got. And today, I don't have an easel. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel more comfortable actually holding it while I'm doing it. It's kind of weird. No, that's not yeah. weird. That's really talented. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that, yeah. Tell us about yourself. We heard that you got started kind of from your mom. What made you get into art? Um, well, I mean, to be all the way real, you know, people don't have uh, perfect lives. Um, my mom was struggling with alcohol. Um, she was sick a lot. So, like, when I was little, I didn't really understand that. Um, so what I would do, I didn't have much, so I would paint or draw for her. And the reaction I got, I think, from her um, actually made me um, probably excel at art because the, the reaction she gave me is what I crave about art. The reaction from people now is what I look for. So. It's such a awesome. great outlet for your emotions, mm -hmm. no matter what. And then, like you said, you're getting something back, and you're also yeah. giving something of yourself to so many people. Yeah, yeah, I, I crave that feeling that you get when you help somebody out or, you know, make them feel better, you know, just in general. Yeah, and so. you're making things that are just blank all over the place, yes. beautiful for people yeah. to look at. So, I mean, you're not just... You're making one person happy, you're making a lot of people happy at one time. And so. here's some yeah. of your artwork. Oh my and, gosh. You know, at one point, maybe a lot of people didn't understand graffiti. They didn't yeah. think that it was the right thing to do. But now it really seems like communities are embracing graffiti artists. You have yeah. Banksy, who's over in London doing yeah, all Banksy, that stuff. Banksy, man, he's, he's awesome. And then how, how has your reaction been here in Central Kentucky? Um, it's, uh, it's a good reaction so far. Um, a lot of people, they like to, to see it. They like to watch it. Um, it's really interesting because I get new jobs every day. So I go to different walls every day and see different things. And some people are really strange. <laughs> well, that, that's yeah. just awesome. I so. want to see this in work. So yeah, let's if you'll just start right on, kind of working here and awesome. so and we'll just ask you a few questions while you're working. Yeah. And so like when you're thinking about painting, do you have something in mind that you want to do or does the art just come alive as you're working? It kind of just um, like you said, comes alive as I'm working because I'll end up changing something doing something a little different. So you um, don't just look at something and say, oh, I'm going to paint no. a horse today. It's just, yep. you know, well, it starts out as something and ends up with transformation. Well, you wouldn't catch me dad painting a horse. <laughs> um, I, I'm not a fan of horses, but <laughs> living hey, in you Kentucky, gotta be you know. Um, but either way, like, it changes through the course of it. And plus, yeah. when I'm painting for a customer, like a bigger company, when they start seeing it happen, they get more inspired to tell me exactly what they want. Right. You know, which is so cool. Which, yeah, you know, is. once you inspire a customer, um, you know, then they start really getting into it and it excites them. And, and then after it's, you know, after it does its little exciting thing, they, they can tend to taper off and let you do your thing. And then after it's done, they're like, wow. Never would have thought that. I really yeah. like that because you know a lot of times you want something painted, but then when it's not exactly, then you're set up for right. you know failure. But when you could say, oh, I like this color and this color, and then let Danny paint what you want, then yeah. it becomes you know your, your own, own unique. Your own, it's unique. Yeah. Well, Danny, we're gonna have you keep working on that. But in case awesome. somebody's interested in having you come out and do something, how can they get a hold of you? Um, well, Facebook um, is my main source. Um, but so many people in Kentucky really know me that I'm sure somebody has my phone number they'll end up calling well, me. Well, we have your info <laughs> up right there. We'll be right back with you because you have a really cool giveaway. You're not going to want to miss this. Midday Kentucky will be right back.